Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be walking through um, how to do a UTV install in your garage. Um, this would be, uh, we're going to go through some of the tools that you might need, uh, some of the things, some of the quick tips that might help you when it comes time to do your uh, uh, installs. One of the first things that you want to do is you want to make sure you do what we call a dry run. So what that means is take everything out of the box, take the mount, take the blade components, the big box components out, make sure that you have everything that you need. Make sure you have all the bolts, all the cotters, all the pins, um, everything that you would need. The last thing you want is to go uh, do the install, put the mount on, you know, you spend two, three hours doing that. And then you come to find out you're missing a pin that is not gonna allow you to finish the install or you're missing a bolt or you're missing something. If you're going to be using receivers for like an HD install uh, plow, uh, make sure that the receivers slide in the mount. You don't want to get into doing the full install of the mount, you know, and an hour later you put the receivers on and they don't fit. They don't work. You want, before you put all your zip ties, before you tuck everything in, before you do any of that, make sure it works. Then once you determine that everything is working like it should, everything fits, everything attaches, everything, then you can tuck everything in, zip tie in, um, your electrical components, you can do all that. Once you get into the electrical side of things, you know, make sure that, the, that everything is working, make sure you have battery power, you know, all those things, uh, because they would save you a lot of time and headaches uh, at the end if you're missing anything like that. When, you, when you're doing an install, um, you know, in this case, we're going to go through some of the tools that you might need, some of the tools that you will have, some tools that are common. Uh, we're not going to go into anything that's, that's super fancy or really specific because every install will be different. Um, basic things is have a, a socket set. You know, this could be a half inch or three eighths uh, wrench set. You know, you will use those. Uh, just general pliers, side cutters. When you're going to be doing your electrical, um, electrical wire cutters, you know, things like that. Uh, needle nose, you know, a lot of times grabbing onto a cotter or, or a bolt or something like that will help in that case. And these are all basic. You know, this is nothing fancy. These are all going to be basic tools. Um, a ratchet, having a nice ratchet uh, and an extension will help. Some of the bolts that you will have to do are kind of on the back. So having a six inch, an eight, eight inch, 10 inch extension will help you get some of that done. Now, if you do have the option, uh, power tools are always better. Um, you know, a lot of times they make things faster, easier. Uh, the other thing is anytime you do any uh, bolts, you want to make sure that you torque it up to spec. Uh, we do call it out in the install instructions. You know, we give you uh, what the bolt is and what the torque spec should be on that. You know, that's really important. It's going to help in the long, long term, making sure that that mount stays on, making sure that everything uh, works like it should. So, again, um, this these are just basic. Uh, some of you guys might like you know, a specific wrench uh, with the swivel or anything like that. A lot of times that does make the install a little bit easier. With with all the plows, the uh, majority of the plows, we offer different accessories. Um, and with different accessories, some of those might be electrical, some, might, some of those might be mechanical, mechanical accessory. So for example, a deflector, you know, when putting a deflector, uh, you might need uh, some sockets, you know, to put the bolts on. You might need a wrench to put the bolts on, uh, things like that. Depending on the size, you might need to cut to size. So having a having a blade, you know, would help. Um, when doing electrical, for example, a light kit, you know, making sure that you have a fuse. Here we have a, a just a general fuse, uh, uh, butt connectors. You will need those to complete the the uh, accessory power to the accessory to make it happen. Uh, the battery connection, the power underground. So just some of those things are pretty basic. It's never going to be anything that you would need, any special tool, any special equipment. A lot of times it's just your basic, you know, uh, wrench, socket kind of deal. Uh, 
but again, it's going to vary depending on the accessory that you're putting on. Always follow the instructions provided with the kit.